Welcome to The Deal, a podcast dedicated to maximizing name, image, and likeness opportunities. We'll hear from student athletes, coaches, and athletic administrators on how NIL partnerships can impact individuals and the schools they attend. It all comes down to making the best deal. Welcome back to The Deal, the NIL podcast where student athletes, administrators, and coaches can learn about NIL deals, the benefits, and how to get started. My name is Jeff Melton. I am the Athletics Communication Manager for football here at the NEI National Office. Uh, this podcast is brought to you by our partner, Open Doors, the leading, the world's leading athletic influencer platform. Today, we have Connor McQuillan, a football player at Northwestern College in Iowa, the reigning national champions. We should add that in there. So welcome, Connor. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we're going to jump right in. I know you're you're busy with fall camps. We want to make sure that you have all the, the time to to get in the classroom, uh, both the football classroom and the uh, academic classroom. So the first thing we want to do is just, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started utilizing NIL? So, yeah. So, I mean, the idea of, you know, college athletes is that we don't get a lot of, um, uh, has compensation for us as athletes. I mean, we pay the institutions we go to or we're lucky enough to get scholarships to attend institutions that we are at. But we don't get a lot of stuff for the work that we put in and the work that we sacrifice. I mean, yes, there are championships and there are accolades and there are statistics that we can provide for ourselves. But more on the financial side, you see a lot of student athletes struggle with that side because we're not compensated properly. And with this new NIL deal coming through, it's really kind of providing an opportunity even from all the way to the Power 5 D1 schools, all the way down to smaller NEI schools like Northwestern, allows me to have to take my focus off the financial side so I can have more focus on the field and in the classroom, knowing that whatever I need to succeed on the field in the classroom is taken care of through my NIL deal. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, what was the process like for you to, um, you know, be connected with uh, M&M, the, the servicing company that you're, you're repping these days? Yeah. So I'm an ag business major for uh, a little backstory, but um, so I'm an ag business major and they handle all a lot of uh, grain industry uh, suppliers through the whole Midwest. And they wanted someone who not only uh, kind of gave off that uh, cultural value that they have as a business, not only in the idea of a school-based uh, uh, environment, but also they wanted to bring about that athletic side, that idea that we have kids who not only excel in the industry that we both support, but also can do other things besides just be a phenomenal student, but also a phenomenal athlete. And they've been very supportive. They have helped me, you know, get all my gloves, cleats, school supplies, just little things here and there that just make my life much simpler and much less um, stressed, stressful. Absolutely. So were they super stoked when you caught that go ahead, touchdown national championship game? Did, did you get extra yes. flag for that? Yes, they did. They were they were very excited to see me do that, to see not only me, but also just our team to succeed. And with them, with my with me repping their name, it just kind of brought about that, you know, it naturally brings about that attention to me and the company. And it's very good. I mean, it's the, the beautiful part of NIL deals that not only does it benefit me, but also benefits them. And mm -hmm. when you have we have a deal that you have people that you trust and that you care for and that you want to help grow not only in their business but also they want to help me grow as an athlete that back and forth is very healthy and it's very nice to see that I have that support absolutely did did the you know the postseason run you guys were on last year did that help you secure any additional NIL deals or are you kind uh, of not, focused on on your your one bread and butter there yeah I'm just focused on the one right now I haven't uh received anything I mean I'm always open to look at new things but right now yeah I've, I've just been focusing on just that one NIL deal Absolutely. So any companies listening in out there, Connor's ready and open for business, anyone who wants to talk to him. Uh, but transitioning, um, you would say, you know, you're benefiting from the NAIL part of that. How does that affect, you know, your your teammates? Are, are they taking advantage of this? Are they asking you for advice on, on how to how to find their own um, special company to work with? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have a lot of uh, I'm not specifically sure what companies I have teammates who are working with, but I, I do know of certain players on our team who do have other deals. 
Um, I'm pretty sure there's a few freshmen, I believe, have a deal with, a, I think, a social media kind of platform. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't know if it's Instagram or whatnot, but it's a company that uses social media to help promote the th their business and they've worked with them. And yeah, I've had a bunch of guys who are, I'm close with on the team come up to me and just talk and ask like the process of it, what it's like, like the benefits, the, even the uh, downfalls, like what's like, cause there's always with once with a positive, there's always going to be sometimes a negative. Mm -hmm. So I've just kind of helped them guide them as much as possible and whatever kind of venture they kind of take on as a student athlete with the whole NIL uh, universe. Yeah. So can you break down a little bit for me uh, how you got into, you know, contact with Eminem uh, specialty servicing and, and how it, how the, we developed this relationship? Yeah. So um, as I began, uh, so I did start up, my major wasn't initially ag business. I was just a general business major mm -hmm. and I switched more to ag business, more kind of specialized. And I started, and they were also sponsoring some of our games, like, being like a, a paid sponsor or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And as I started gathering um, attention for my performance on field, they started to notice that and they reached out to me and noticed I was an ag business major. And so they really sought out to kind of show that they support people who are in the ag industry, but also uh, young men who are, or any young athlete who's willing to pursue excellence both in their careers, but also in their uh, own personal time and whatever they choose to pursue, which is for me, which is football. Absolutely. You kind of hinted on that right now is, you know, NIL, NIL part is, is really um, important for you as a, as a student athlete right now, but how do you think this is um, kind of setting you for up for success for when you do graduate, you get your diploma and you're out there in the, the working world? Um, it's really helped me kind of understand the, relations kind of communication with because when you're promoting you're um, interacting with these companies you really have to understand there's a vision that they have for not only you or me but also for what they want because not only am, are they supporting me and allowing me to do what I do but what I do also reflects on them because they are them for themselves their name on me so I then have to represent them properly it's helping me understand just how to be how how much of an impact I have not only for my own life but for others because now mm -hmm. that I carry that brand on my back I have to raise myself to higher standards which I enjoy it's no mm -hmm. problem to me I'm I don't mind that whatsoever so in a good way it's kind of challenged me to ask myself what more do I need to do to show that they can trust me even more and that others can uh model themselves off of what I what I do that's great really happy to hear that so Kind of parting question is for any other student athlete out there, whether they're still in high school or they've already, you know, are are in the collegiate ranks, what advice would you give them to, you know, um, starting that initial process for finding an NIL deal and then, you know, kind of maximizing it um, in that relationship with them? Um, it's kind of tough to say because every situation is different. I don't believe every, I don't believe any situation is the same. Mm -hmm. um, personally, what I would have to say is find someone who knows what they're talking about obviously i mean you need someone who can help guide you find someone who's a mentor find someone who can get your name out there but also with me i mean i didn't have that so if i'm gonna compare it to what my situation is is that if you the way i got uh discovered is because i was performing on field mm -hmm. and i believe that no matter how good you are no matter where you are that if you are doing the right things at the right at a high level that people will find you no matter if it's in small town, Northwest Iowa, or if you're in a big D one, if you're doing the right things at a high level that the people who truly want you will find you. I agree. And I think our, our national partner open doors is a great opportunity for that. They can walk student athletes through that process and kind of be that middleman that, that you didn't have on the front end. So we're thrilled that you, you did it a little bit of the old fashioned way and let your play on the field, speak for yourself, uh, speak for itself. Um, but we're so glad to hear that. Yes. So th thank you, Connor. We've enjoyed having you um, on, on this episode of the deal. We look forward to watching you uh, ball out on the field there. Um, let's keep going over 100 yards, rushing and receiving every game like you did in the championship. And, and you guys will have an awesome season this year. That's good. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. So everyone tune in again for the next episode of The Deal.